Hello, faithful friends of the internet. I'm Jason Mayfield, and you're watching Tear Up Your Bible Tools, brought to you by TearUpYourBible.com, the home of the world's greatest Bible reading plan. Also, a place where you can pick up my brand new book, Here to Hear. This book's all about helping you unlock your divine purpose to hear the voice of God. You can pick this up at TearUpYourBible.com, along with the world's greatest Bible reading plan. In this video, I wanna show you one of my favorite tools that actually doesn't help me tear up my Bible, but I do believe it helps other people tear up their Bible. You may or may not know that I am an evangelist. I travel around and speak in other churches. Uh, probably a more appropriate thing to call me would be an itinerant minister or a traveling speaker. I'm not really a traditional evangelist in that I'm out doing a lot of soul winning. That's not what I do, though a lot of people get saved when I go in and do these events. All glory be to the Lord. I've really got a cadence going on in this video. I've really got a cadence in this video. What might surprise you is that even though I have all of this camera equipment and I've got the computers and the things and the stuffs and the digital whiteboard and all the things around me, when I preach, actually when I generally engage with the scripture in the morning, but when I preach, when I go up to to stand at the pulpit, I really don't like having a lot of technology on me. Sometimes I travel with my iPad because it's the easiest way for me to bring all of my stuff along. But if I have my choice, I really just want to preach with a Bible and notes inside of it. I try to keep it really simple in the pulpit. I'll do something like that. And uh, just very simple, very plain, very basic. But one of the issues that I've run into in churches is I don't understand these guys' countdown timers. Like I go into churches and I know I've got X amount of time to preach and I just don't know how to read their countdown timers. They're either not set up well, they don't make sense, they only make sense for the pastor. Sometimes it's not a countdown timer, it's just a clock and I really don't know all the service times. They're not you know, in my brain by default. And so it made me think, man, I want to take control of my countdown timer. My first solution was to use my cell phone. But listen, as much as I don't like having an iPad in the pulpit, I hate having my cell phone up there. It's just a real pain. Uh, I actually have this watch because I normally wear an Apple watch. And I have this watch and I have another one uh, that's a brown leather one. But I have this watch so I don't wear my Apple watch when I'm preaching either. I just don't. And when I'm making videos, I put this on so I'm not doing I just don't. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. The technology. I'm not about it. I'm not here for the technology. And while I may not be getting my sermon material from him, I happened to see a video clip of Kenneth Copeland recently, and he was standing at the pulpit, unzipping his Bible, and I saw him take out a countdown timer, or a clock or something, I, but I assume it was a countdown timer. It was something to help him with the time. And I thought, that's what I need. And I found it, I found my countdown timer, and this, is it. You can see if you put it next to a Bible, it is very small. It's about this size and it just has the numbers on it. That's all it has, your, your numbers. And there are three programmable settings. The first two I actually have to 28. The third one I have to 15 because right now I'm filming 15 minute videos for a friend of mine who's also an evangelist and he's doing something and wanted me to, to be a part of it. So I've been filming some stuff for him. But normally I've just been keeping these all to 28. Now, as an evangelist, let me just tell you, this is the reason that I'm I'm doing 28. Uh, if, if someone brings me in and they want me to preach for, and, and this is part of the problem, is every church I go in, the sermon preaching time's a little different. If I go in somewhere that wants me to preach 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes, 28 minutes works. Uh, if somebody wants me to preach for an hour and 15 minutes, I'm gonna do my sermon in 28 minutes. If somebody wants me to do 45 minutes, I'm gonna do my sermon in 28 minutes. And I will fill the rest of that time uh, with other content that I can pad that with, but I'm gonna do it at 28 minutes. And there's a, a reason for 28 minutes. When I was on Christian television, a Christian TV show, like on a TBN or a, a Daystar or wherever that may be, a CTN, but a Christian television show is 28 minutes and 30 seconds to the T. To the then there's 30 seconds for station identification. But there are no commercials because this is all nonprofit stuff. And so for 28 minutes and 30 seconds, 
you, you have it. So 28 minutes gives me enough wiggle room that if I go over a little bit, it's not the end of the world. This is gonna help me to really be mindful of those last few seconds. But it also gives me an opportunity if I wanted to take whatever I'm preaching and creating, turn it into a TV show that I put out. Again, I used to be on television. This is something I used to do. So this helps me just as I'm preaching and going out and capturing content, I'm kind of lateral for content creation. And uh, so I am doing 28 minutes for that reason, but this timer, it's very cool. It's very easy to set the time. Uh, and then all I have to do is select what I've programmed in in the memory. And then I just click this button and it starts to go down. Now I put a little piece of tape here because this blinks and I didn't want it to be blinking obnoxiously. And it starts to go faster once it gets towards the end. Now this is a science countdown timer. It's something for scientists, I don't know. But it, obviously it would sit on your pulpit very well and then you could flip it back like that and sit it up right, which I do sometimes in my videos. I'll put it right out of the frame and then I can have that timer there as well. The one thing, uh, well, I will also tell you, it has uh, magnets, which I don't think will be helpful to you uh, unless it's your church and you have like a wood pulpit and you wanna put a little metal plate in there or something. But it does have this little doodad where you can hang it. Again, something I don't think you're gonna do, but you can do it halfway and it kinda leans it up a little bit. The one thing I might end up doing to this though is if you've ever seen a rug slip mat, like you put, a, it's a thing that you put under a rug to keep it from slipping around on the floor. I might take some of that material and just adhesive it to the back here so when it sits on the pulpit, it doesn't want to slide. Uh, but that might be excessive. And then if you want to start over, you just have to stop it, start it over. But this is ready to rock at all times. I don't have to worry about my screen going off. Uh, and even if I need to change it, you know, I can go in here and I can change very easy. See, that's going fast. And I think it goes up to 99. Yeah, and then it starts over. And so now I'm at six minutes. And if I want to do a 13 minute thing, I can just start that. And I can also program that in very easily. So this is my secret weapon when I'm traveling and preaching right now. My very own countdown timer to keep me on track. I've got a link to it down in the description below. Check it out if you want a countdown timer for preaching. Bam! And if you want to participate in the world's greatest Bible reading plan ever of all time in the universe, visit tearupyourbible.com. It's the best, and we're not ashamed about it.